Hi, today I will show you how to create a horizontal list. As you can see here, I have a website where I have a list of fruits in this case. And they are basically, those list items are placed next to each other so that the list is horizontal as opposed to vertical as in most cases. So let's see how to do that. I will go to my Elementor page and use Text Editor widget. And I will create a basic list here. This can be a numbered list, so I either ordered or, or unordered list. In this case, I will use a bulleted list. And I will type, let's say, apples, pears, grapes, mangoes, and so on. Next thing, I want to go to the advanced panel of my Elementor Pro. Uh, if you're not using Elementor Pro, but the free version, this will apply in the same way. And I will show you at the end of the video, video how to basically insert the same code in the free version. If you're using a paid Pro version, then you will have this custom CSS field at the bottom of the advanced panel. And then I want to type selector and unordered list. And first thing that I will do here, which is the key thing, is to set display to flex. This will basically position my list items next to each other. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, first thing that catches my eyes is that they are very close to each other. So I want to apply some padding and more spacing on these list items. I will type selector and list item or li, and I will set the padding right to something like, let's say 40 pixels. This will create some space between my list items. And now the next thing that I want to do is to remove the bullets. In this case, I don't need them. So I will go back to my selector unordered list where I set the display to flex and I will set uh, the list style type property to none. This will basically clear my list, uh, list styling and I will get rid of my bullets here. The only thing left now to do is that I also want to get rid of this left padding this space at the beginning of my uh, list so while i'm still in my unordered list properties i will set the padding left to zero pixels and there you go this is how it works in elementor pro now if you don't have elementor pro but you're using a free version of elementor this custom css field uh, will be disabled so in this case uh, use the layout tab and set the css class to your list i will use something like uh, let's say horizontal list and then we will apply basically the same code but to a plugin click on update and i'm using custom css and a javascript plugin here custom simple uh, css and javascript the link for it you can find in the description so i will type dot horizontal list because that's my list name and then I will basically use the same code. I will set the unordered list property. Uh, I will type unordered list and set the display property to flex. And then I will also use the list style type to, um, I will set it to none because I want my bullets to disappear and padding left, I will set it to zero to remove the left padding on my list. And then I will also set some styling on my list items. So I will type in list item and padding right, I will set to 35 pixels. Now click on update and let's see how our list looks like now. If I go to preview changes, there you go. You can see that it again applied the same styling and created a horizontal list even with a free version. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.